so the title of the talk is a new SQL Alchemy Collector for Emitting Airflow Lineage as DAGs Run. This is very much a new kind of project and it's a work in progress itself. Um, and I'm gonna share uh, the status of it with you. And I hope that it's also an introduction to how to create custom integrations in the Open Lineage project. That's uh, my hope. Um, just a little bit about me. I'm a community manager at Astronomer, uh, working for the Open Lineage and Marquez projects. I've also contributed a little bit to Airflow in Dev. Um, I'm going to cover uh, a few topics today. I'm going to start out talking about okay, why this weird thing, um, and hope to answer that question and briefly talk about what is Open Lineage. Uh, not as well as Mache just did, uh, but I'll try. And then uh, SQL Alchemy and the SQL Alchemy ORM, which I'm using in this integration effort. Uh, and then hopefully uh, some uh, demo. So uh, does anybody remember this? Uh, is anyone old enough to uh, remember this uh, prime time in America? Uh, the networks were, there was this thing to try to get parents to, you know, suspect their children and uh, introduce mistrust in the parental child relationship. Um, but um, what I'm, what I'm kind of asking about this is, do you know what's happening internally in Airflow? Uh, show of hands, uh, how many people knew that SQL Alchemy is part of the Airflow infrastructure? Okay, so that's great. I don't need to go, go too much into detail about SQL Alchemy then, but the, the spirit of this is that more lineage, more visibility into the pipelines and the infrastructure, what's touching data sets, inputs, outputs, the jobs that are affecting them is better, right? Um, so as uh, I think it was Carlton said this morning in the keynote, right, uh, black boxes at the base of your infrastructure are bad. And we take the view in open lineage that the more visibility you have into what's happening in your pipelines, the better, right? Um, so uh, as, as you just heard, if you were in the room during Mache's talk, Open Lineage has a mission. It's an open standard to define, uh, or it's a spec to define, rather, an open standard for the collection of lineage metadata from pipelines as they are running or before they run or even if they don't run now with uh, the introduction of static lineage support in 1.0. Very exciting development recently in the community. Um, so before open lineage, um, you know, without a spec, uh, an open standard uh, for collecting lineage from these tools, um, we lack uh, visibility with open lineage. We have a shared language for seeing uh, operations as they happen. That's the goal. And these are just some of the producers and consumers supported by open lineage. We need to update this slide. Um, but uh, you get a sense of our coverage here and the various tools that consume open lineage currently, including Marquez, which I'll be using hopefully in just a minute to show you the progress on this. Um, so uh, love this charmingly old fashioned logo that SQL Alchemy still employs. It's an older project going all the way back to 2006, currently on 20.0, uh, but it's still being developed, right? As you, as you may know. Um, you know, 7.7 thousand GitHub stars, like something like over 7,000 closed issues. Um, it's a stable project. The ORM is something that you might know less about. Like even if you've developed with SQL Alchemy in building applications or in developing Airflow, the ORM is a separate thing. And, and it's a tool for programmatically uh, you know, creating data sets and doing data set operations, but also it has a built-in event listener that is what I'm using in this project to get information about what's happening under the surface. And um, there's more information, of course, in the docs. I encourage you to check those out. 
Um, just to give you a sense of the ORM, these are some of the events. Um, just a very small sample of the events. So after a bulk update, after a bulk delete, after commit, um, you can code some action to happen. So pretty low code. Um, and there's a session object that you can use here, uh, one import. And some of the metadata that's available from the ORM um, includes columns, queries, SQL queries, and tables. And I just wanna draw attention to this one here because um, you know, the way SQL Alchemy operates, you, you can have queries happen, right, uh, without hard coding them. How do you know what actually happened without the ORM and the event listener that you can create with it? You wouldn't know. So that's uh, kind of what I'm hoping to uncover with this. Um, so what's the status or uh, and uh, what's the basic structure of this integration? So, um, so as I said, it's a work in progress, and we encourage, you know, anyone who's got a tool that's not currently covered by Open Lineage to take a stab at um, at creating a custom integration, and then someone else in the community might pick it up and help you. Um, that's my hope with this. It's a relatively simple task as far as getting started. This is just two classes. One is collecting the metadata from the ORM, and the other one is adapting that metadata into the open lineage spec and emitting the events, which can then be consumed by a consumer. And in this case, I'm testing it with Marquez, but there are others. And the classes that I'm using are the data set, run, run event, run state, job, SQL, job facet. This is where I'm getting the query. And then there's an inspect hook that gives me access to the metadata that we, you know, we prize in the Open Lineage project. So columns, tables, queries, really what we want. This is what the architecture looks like. There's a listener that uses the, the built-in session from the ORM, gets a transaction creation, execution state, and successful commit. This is just a small sample of what you can get from the ORM. And then the adapter, uh, takes data sets that were created uh, from that and emits events, generates the job name, the SQL job facet that has the query, assembles the run event. The run event is kind of the overarching structure, the, you could say the core of it. Um, and I had an animation here. Um, <laughs> so use cases. For this, let me start with uh, Airflow. So um, I'm thinking potentially if we can see what's happening inside SQL Alchemy, we could theoretically make performance improvements. Uh, we could uh, identify the source of errors potentially. I don't know, use it for testing. Um, the, the, the spirit in which I'm kind of creating this is just to see you know, to offer more visibility, right? Because who knows what improvements or issues we could uncover. We don't know until we see, right? So that's kind of the spirit of it. But I'm also trying to broaden the set of personas that we currently um, are supporting uh, with the Open Lineage and Marquez projects. You know, we think of, we think within our silo often, but data is not restricted to data engineers and data practitioners. Web developers use data all the time, right? It's very hard to create even a simple web app that has any kind of interactive elements without a backend, right? But some lineage would, would improve the ability to test and debug that kind of thing. That's the theory. And so we've got Flask as a, as, a, as a kind of starting point here because there's a SQL Alchemy integration. And then another one that I'm aware of is Bottle, which I, I understand is similar. Um, so what I've been able to see with this in terms of the internal operations of Airflow are all of these data sets. And so, you know, 
one one line of SQL alchemy in Airflow that is not hard coded will produce this. So the kind of query that I'm able to that the integration is able to visualize or emit, I should say, and visualize. So these are some of slightly different. Um, some some screenshots. So uh, this is this is Marquez, the reference implementation of Open Lineage, looking at the uh, data sets root, which shows all the data sets in the namespace, and we can see that when I took the screenshot, I was capturing uh, DAG, DAG code, DAG run, job, log template, and more. Um, uh, another view, the uh, data set detail page in Marquez gives us the schema. So we get column information, um, including data type in the column. And so, you know, uh, if, if you're, um, if you're willing to do it, you could note maybe manually um, changes to the schema, but we expect you know, uh, more support for facets in Marquez that can add more features in that vein. And this is the events route in Marquez, which uh, I included because the job name is, in this case, the, the uh, SQL query. And I think this is a better image of that. So it captures the SQL query in the SQL facet here. OK. Um, so I believe that I have Airflow up. And. You know, and it's quite it's quite ugly. I apologize. The 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 current effort that I've you know the the challenge the fun challenge of you know trying to create a custom integration is okay. How how do I construct the uh, the job? Um, it's got to be unique, right? Um, and get a little bit more information here. Or not, let's see. Log template, let's see what we've got here. Uh, schema information for most of these data sets. Um, when you've got uh, Marquez configured correctly, you've, you've got your open lineage um, port set. You'll see the namespace that you've used in your custom integration up here in the namespace selector and I've used Airflow as my namespace. Okay. Um, so that's kind of how it looks currently. Um, let's see if, so we looking at the date, so the schema information that we see now in Marquez is up to date, now based on the update at timestamp here. So that's working. Um, if we look at one more, let's see if it's different. Okay. All right, so you get the idea. 
And as we uh, continue to develop this, hopefully we'll get more metadata and larger graphs. That's the idea, but I'm at the beginning, right? And it's kind of typical thing to be, to have a smaller graph at the beginning. Um, I would like, if possible, to uh, dramatically change gears here and so I was using the um, the new quick start in the open lineage docs which uses the Astro CLI uh, it's quite easy to spin up um, Marquez uh, along with Airflow in Docker with that quick start and so I just went, I just did astro dev stop. And so what I'm going to try to do now is to spin up Marquez separately. I think it's seven. So this is a simple web app. It's kind of like Twitter meets a card catalog. So it's like a social version of a library card catalog. And if we, so the idea is that maybe I could sign in and we could see the metadata uh, about the data sets that have been affected by this in Marquez. So successfully signed in, we can see the catalog. And so it's kind of like if uh, Twitter and a card catalog and uh, a Google API had, a th we're in a throuple. Uh, okay. So I used a uh, library namespace. A challenge at this point with Flask, so Flask is the framework for this, is um, getting complete, completes here. It seems to be working better for the users. So if we go into user, okay. Okay. Well, at least you get a sense of the, um, the last working state of this, unfortunately, it's not updating. Oh, wait, 321. So, yeah. I th yeah, there's the, that, I think that might be part of it, right? Under events. Okay. No, something else there. So. Okay. So wanted to show you some graphs too. It's not happy right now, unfortunately. Oh, there's one. Okay. So we get the schema of this data set and the data types. That's kind of where I am with this. If you're interested in contributing your own custom integration, please go to the Open Lineage GitHub repo and you could open an issue or go to Slack, join our Slack community, um, post in the general and see if others might be interested in collaborating with you on an integration. Um, and uh, that's, that's it. Uh, welcome any questions or ideas that you have about this project.